Hi everyone, so this is a new activity that I would like you guys to work on and it is all about interpreting data. So you have three graphs here. This one says cost of natural hazards, this one says lives lost from hazards, and this one is number of occurrences. And then in the bottom, it's got five different types of natural disasters. Landslides, earthquake, wildfire, hurricane, and tornado. It's the same on all three graphs. So what you're going to do, you're going to use these three graphs to answer these two questions. Number one says, describe what data shows across the graphs. Write two observations using information from more than one graph. Example, the graphs show that wildfire costs less than hurricanes and tornadoes, but they cause more deaths. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick a graph and just tell me what it's about. What does it mean? What do the numbers represent? What do the bars represent? Then it says city leaders need help understanding how to interpret that data. So you're going to help them. Choose one of the hazards from the first column. So that means you're going to choose one of these. And then you're going to use that hazard and you're going to fill out the rest of the table with it. So let's say for these, for this example, we're going to do landslide. Let's say you pick landslide. So that means you got to study these graphs and know how landslides affect all three of these graphs and then put in that information here. List at least two things that you know can cause this hazard. So this is going to go back into our web quests and some of the readings. How do landslides start? You might have to do a little bit of research on that. Then this last one, list ways that you know this hazard impacts or affects humans and the environment. So again, what do you know about landslides that will affect the people in the area? Now, again, for this table, you're not doing all four of these. You're picking one and then filling the table in on it. This third one says, describe to the city leader some ways that hazards you choose affect their city. So that means whatever hazard you picked over here, how is that going to impact the people around it? What should you be telling city officials in order to prepare their communities? You have an example of what I want for number three. This last part says one of the city leaders has claimed that the graph showed was not necessary to plan for the effect of earthquakes. So now there's a different graph and you need to read and interpret this and then answer this question. Do you agree or dis disagree with, this, with the city leader's claim? You've got a claim here. So that means for number five, you should be filling out a full claim evidence reasoning. Number five specifically is on earthquakes. So even if you don't pick earthquakes here, you have to talk about earthquakes down here. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me and reach out. I will give you a couple of days for this assignment.